Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In PowerPoint, you'll sometimes want to handle multiple objects, shapes, and graphics simultaneously. You may want to move two objects at the same time to change their place on the slide without changing their relational aspect. So take for example a smiley face you've created by placing three circles and a curved line on top of each other. Now you wouldn't want to accidentally just move one of the elements without moving the others. So what happens if we've created the entire face, stacked it exactly the way we want it, and then realize it's not exactly where we wanted it to be in the slide? Do you have to move all the objects one at a time to a different location? Thankfully the answer is no. We can actually group the individual objects together as one object so that we can move the entire group without changing their relational aspects. And this is a very handy technique for working with multiple objects on a slide. So obviously if we want to group objects we have to be able to select multiple objects. And you can select multiple objects by holding down shift on your keyboard and clicking on the individual elements you'd like to include as members of the group. Another really easy way to select objects is to click and drag in the empty part of the slide and draw a marquee box with your mouse that encompasses the items that you'd like to include in the group. Anything that's enclosed by the box as you draw will be selected. Once you've selected the objects, click the draw button in the drawing toolbar at the left end and then choose the group command. This makes the objects one grouped object. So if you need to make a uh, change or if you wanted to move it, for example, you just click and drag on it now and you can move the object as if it were one entity. If you need to make a change to an element of the grouped object, you can click on it to select it and then click the draw button on the to drawing toolbar. And from the pop-up menu, you could choose ungroup to break it into its component objects, which then you could click off into the blank area to deselect and then click on one of the elements to format it individually. At that point, if you wanted to regroup the selected items with all of the items that it had just previously been selected with, you could select any one of the items, click Draw, and choose Regroup to group it back together with all the other elements. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.